Aloha, my name is Brady Barrows. I wrote the book Rosacea 101, and it's about a comprehensive book on the treatment of rosacea, whether it's conventional or alternative. And I wrote a chapter, chapter three, about what causes rosacea, and I'd like to discuss this with you and uh, just briefly talk about some of the theories why uh, we get rosacea. No one really knows, so these are just simply theories. And uh, the first theory that's probably the most popular that you'll see in most medical literature is that rosacea is a vascular disorder. And what does that mean? It means that there's something wrong with the blood vessels on the face. And what causes that? Well, we don't know, but it's some, something causes your vessels to mess up. The second theory is, uh, that's gaining popularity is that rosacea is an inflammatory condition. And the strongest argument for this is that rosacea is treated with antibiotics and it works. And so they think, well, there's something inflammatory that, that is causing this problem. What is it? Well, we still don't know. The third theory that I mentioned in my book that's gaining popularity is that it's a disorder provoked by various environmental stimuli. And there's a long list of things in the environment that trigger the rosacea, and it may be the cause. Number one and foremost is sun damage, photo damage to the skin, because most rosaceans are sun sensitive. And that could be, but they haven't proven it. There's other things like exposure to cold, exposure to heat, irritants, whether they're topical or whether they're uh, oral, uh, something is in the environment is triggering the rosacea. Stress has been proposed as one of the, the things that brings on rosacea. And then of course last but not least are the microorganisms. And there's, there are many bacteria, fungus, demodex mites. The, thir the fourth theory that's been proposed is that rosacea is a genetic disorder. You know, because it looks like that particularly white, fair-skinned people get rosacea. But of course this has never been proven because you can get rosacea, uh, it doesn't matter what race you are, you can get rosacea. But the, uh, this nature versus nurture debate will continue for a long time about whether uh, really uh, rosacea is genetic or not. But it could be, that could be the reason. And finally the fifth theory that uh, has been proposed that uh, became very popular in 2007, particularly August, was uh, that rosacea is an immune system disorder. And this is because of the recent research done by Dr. Gallo et al., who uh, had been, has have been studying catholicidins. These are alarmins. Alarmins are little n nature's way of uh, dealing with... Uh, inflammatory responses that goes back to the inflammatory theory and uh, dealing with microorganisms and in particular there seems to be an increase in catholicidins in rosaceans. So these, this gives you an idea of the five most popular theories. However in Appendix D in my book you can read another seven theories about what causes rosacea. And I hope that uh, this has been educational for you and I hope that you'll buy my book and learn more. Aloha.